Yes, um, we want to thank you this, mo this morning for joining us again during our program. This is an exclusive interview with a honorable gentleman which is well known in other states and the business um, guru. Um, we want to thank um, Chief Inemwaka for joining us this morning. Chief, you're welcome. Thank you very much. I, I, I remain even here with the anchor of this um, uh, interview. Chief, we deeply appreciate your coming to our studio this um, uh, morning. We are live on Facebook and um, numerous people will be watching us from different parts of the of the country at the moment. So we want to thank you deeply for joining us in this program. We will discuss briefly on um, fundamental issues as regards um, uh, um, Dr. Alex Soti, as regards the state, Abia State and other necessary issues. And COVID has been um, um, disturbing the world over. How, has, how, how have you seen the COVID implication in terms of the economy? You are a businessman, of course. Well, uh, the COVID pandemic that is global, uh, apart from the health challenges, it has uh, affected a lot of things, especially the economy. And uh, this is practically due to the way both the World Health Organization and the various government agencies handled it. And uh, the handling was more of putting too much fear on people than uh, facing the reality of uh, healthcare management. And, uh, but having created that confusion, it uh, practically shut down the world economy, not only in Nigeria. So it is going to take a long time for things to pick up. Uh, so many jobs will be lost. So many businesses will go down. Of course, so many businesses will pick up. Because uh, when they say money doesn't disappear when people lose some people gain <laughs> don't be surprised that during this covid 19 period some people have turned themselves to be millionaires of course the people that send out globe most so, of all those um, so PPEs, one man's loss is uh, another, another man's, man's benefit gain. Gain. but uh, in time like this uh, it, it depends on how it affects you if it affects you on the other side uh, you, it becomes a little bit bad for you, but if it affects you on the other side, and if you are the greedy type, uh, you want the situation to continue as long as you are making money. But having said this, uh, uh, you can't deny the fact that it has affected the economy very, very well. All sectors, those in the food industry, those in transport, those in uh, hardcore events and all those things. You know, there was uh, this growing uh, tendency for outdoor events. Yes. The event centers Entertainment were, events. Uh, uh, event centers were praying up uh, here and there. And these event centers are businesses that thrive on numbers and crowd. So such businesses are definitely going to have downturn. And uh, uh, by the grace of God, people who readapt on how to operate under this COVID uh, environment. Okay, go, go, going forward, sir, you, you just um, drove into uh, Abia State after a little period of... Uh, what have you seen as you drove into Abia State? Uh, uh, are you impressed at the level at which at least you got to see your flyover and you saw the flyover? What is your impression of what you saw as you drove into Abia State today? Uh, you see, I've not seen anything different. I... When we talk, we talk from what we see everywhere, both in Nigeria and outside the world. We talk about uh, the speed with which projects that are relevant to people. I always give this instance. There was a time I went to, there is a village in Spain, At one trip, I was there. The next trip, they built a new railway terminal. I, 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 I always remember that thing in that because the hotel I normally stay is just opposite the old train station. So I didn't bother to get the address. So when in the next one month I visited, I came out into a new brown. Uh, rail station and I couldn't get my bearing and the language problem was there uh, to <laughs> ask how do I get back to Hotel de, de Donalula that is opposite this thing 
if you are asking this person. So then when I got to the, when I finally found my way, I got to my uh, airport, I asked him, when did you people build this brand new station? He said, less than six months. I said, when did you commission it? He said, uh, what do you mean by commissioning? I said, the opening ceremony, he told me that they don't do that. That if government uh, builds a project, immediately it's ready, the contractor hands over, maybe the mayor will be the first person to use it. That that type of ceremony I'm talking is pure waste of money that they could have used. So it now brings one, the wastages found in our system, two, the length of time, come off it. Common small bridge that they are doing is taking them too much loss. And I passed, I turned around that place. And if you see the kind of work they are doing, one barrel here, you will see the lousiness. So, and if you see such a lousy situation, what hope do you have for that bridge? And then you will now be questioning yourself hope the structures are strong enough to carry vehicle if at some time they will eventually finish. finish. So, I'm not impressed. No matter what they say, whatever that is your reason, before you start a project like that that is strategically located, you should be sure of the design, you should be sure of the funding, you should be sure of the implementation, and it should be timely. And even if you miss your time, it shouldn't be less than 5% of the mark. But we are talking about almost 200% of the target they gave us when they started it. Okay, is, is there any place of comparison between Abbeystead and Ebony State? Consider the, the government have said that there is no place of comparison, that our weight bill is higher, Ebony State is lower, uh, that that may be the reason why there are so much um, infrastructure development in Ebony State. Do you think there's a place for comparison? Well, I, I've grown not to compare myself with others. <laughs> it's, comparison is a kind of giving excuses. Ebony, everybody grows according to his length. The only comparison is that maybe their leadership is more purposeful and more practical in approaching issues vis-a-vis -vis in applying the use of funds. You see, when they tell you it's not only to get the education, it's not only to develop a lot of theories. In science, there is what we call application of principle. You might know so many things. How to apply it on the day-to-day -day solution of human problems becomes a challenge. And that is the challenge we've been having with Abia State leadership over the time. How to make use of the scarce resources. Don't tell me because they have fewer human beings or because they receive fewer men. If you have too much staffs, what are you doing with staffs that are not productive? Mm -hmm. It still boils down to your inability to accept your situation as it is. If you are producing 100 naira, why are you keeping staffs that are uh, costing you 1,000? So is that an excuse? So on the surface, there is no need to compare. The only thing is that uh, the, the leadership here is not be able to accept the reality of their problem and say, this is a problem. Staff-wise, income-wise, implementation-wise. And I still maintain there is still a lot of wastage in other states. Do you think um, there is hope? that this government, um, based on what you are saying, can actually salvage or pick up from where they are now and actually end up doing well? Um, I don't want to use the harsh word that is a hopeless situation. You see, there are things you inherit. If you inherit it from the position of strength, it helps you to make drastic and practical changes that will turn around things. But if you inherit it from a position of weakness, so to say, we've not had a governor that entered there on his merit. It has been an anointment from Ojo's or Carlo to TA, from TA to Okeze, Ibazo. So when they keep on entering the office based on anointment, whether you deserve the anointing or not, it becomes difficult for you to take some serious, drastic decisions that is needed to turn around things. So, given that background, I sometimes I I don't want to say I pity the governor. It will be difficult for him to stand up as a man. But if he some some courage to take such position, 
the people will be happy, but he will need more courage and more man in him to be able to take decision. They know where the wastage are coming from. They know where they are getting it wrong. It's the will and the ability to take the right decision and be firm on it. And forget the past. Because if you keep on looking back, you will never move forward. Is there a way forward? The way forward is, uh, uh, well, Adians, uh, given the constitutional position about uh, election, let's endure and manage, hoping that the state will not crash or not. And when next we have the opportunity to elect a governor or leadership, we we'll shine our eyes and make sure that we get people that has not only the knowledge but has the courage and the connection to do what is needed to turn around. Has the people not been doing this all this while? Do you think it's just about the people? Yes. Because obviously in twenty in, in twenty nineteen there was twenty there was an election, twenty nineteen was an election, is the people not actually doing their own job? The people are doing their job, but they are not doing it well. They are not seeing it. And most of they are being frustrated by the leakages and shortfalls in some of the electoral laws and our constitutional provision. For instance, in 2015, it is well known that this government has said that they won. They didn't win the election. Forget about the constitutional law, Supreme Court ruling. There is no way I'm a scientist. There is no way you win a state with one local, one or two, three local government out of 17. It doesn't happen. You still conjuring figures and all those things. You know between reality and a constitutional victory. And it's becoming embarrassing. The other day you, we had the, the governor of uh, Imo State complaining that they are calling him Supreme Court governor. Of course he's a Supreme Court governor. So if he asks that that name should not be used, used on him again. No, but what we are saying is that until we now have leadership that won the election without all these Supreme Court uh, court maneuvers, that man will even be happy. If he's not being affected by that name or being this thing, he shouldn't make it as a point of complaint. To even write a letter to the uh, they thank you, he, 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 which means his conscience is worrying him. When we were young, you know, there was a time we grew up in the village. If a young man goes there to shit without removing it, it's only him that knows that they shit here. So when they are running around, each time he passes that place, he will look towards that side. Because his conscience is telling him, there's something he did there. He did there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so for him to start complaining about being called uh, this thing, let them wake up and start and stop being governor by the help of courts. Let them become governor by the help and vote of the people. Okay, let's 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 discuss um, um, something else. Um, uh, from 2015 um, to, to the last election, 2019, you were actively behind a particular uh, governorship candidate in Ibe State in the person of Dr. Alex Oti um, throughout these two uh, elections, which has spanned um, uh, uh, the past eight years and, and, and this. Now, what, what were your driving force? Why are you still with Dr. Alex Oti? I, I, I want to believe you are still with him. Why are you still with him? A lot of people felt, a lot of people have fallen out, a lot of people are still there. Why are you still with him? Well, uh, if you know me very well, if I believe in something, I'll follow it to the end. Because I have this challenge of trying to explain why I change. If I don't have sufficient reason why I have to change my position. Uh, if you must know, I'm not new to this thing. In 2003, I contested for Federal House against uh, Mawubia uh, uh, Uwabuma. And I know the circumstances by which he had an age over me. 2011 I did it. I came up with the impression that no. Contesting this thing is a waste of time. If some certain basic changes, especially in the state leadership. I observe this idea of that for you to get into the position, you almost be
worshiping some human being and I believe in only one God. I cannot worship any other person. So far as God blesses me to give me the basic need to maintain myself, maintain my family, I cannot worship anybody because of I can only follow you if I'm convinced that you have something to offer, not only to me alone, but to the generality of the public. And after that time, I came to the conclusion that if we continue with this passage from one governor to the other that worships and believes in him, we will keep on that we need to set a new standard. That we need a leadership that is coming from a different school of thought, but and again has the capacity, the connection, and in the intelligence to run. And when we were some of us that were thinking like that, galvanize ourselves along Alexuti. It was almost like a bacon call that we need someone outside this circle that have to us a wrong orientation about what leadership should be in terms of service, in terms of providing for the people. That is the whole idea. And that thing that was my fear, that thing have not changed. So if it have not changed, and those qualities we saw in Alex by galvanizing support, come, let's go and see how we can salvage Abia State. Not only to provide, but to change the concept of public service. I knew when we were in secondary school, during Obasanjo's first time as a military governor, where you did not see ECG, yeah, that is government vehicle, by Friday evening or Saturday. These days you see government vehicle in the market, even being driven by girlfriends. That is how low governance have gone in terms of abuse of public office. There's too much abuse. And we need someone that has a better discipline and understanding of what you cannot do with public resources and how you can best manage that thing. And it's been lacking. So in Alex, some of those qualities we saw and supported him instead of diminishing, has even improved, has even been uh, backed up with more exposure or more, uh, because uh, there are some certain things he took for granted in 2015 because he never dealt with some certain characters. Eh? But haven't dealt with all these characters. So I think by now he's even more prepared and more polished to take on uh, and at the same time if you read his uh, back page columns, you can now see that that uh, intelligence, that quality is still there. So I don't have any hesitation to say that uh, he can do, it, he can be part or play the role that I envisage that we need for a better habit. Okay, let's 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 look into another uh, same still on um, Dr. Alex Oti um, OFR. Um, he was in Abga. He ran these two elections under Abga, and now we are hearing that. Um, uh, of course, it's no longer it's no longer secret. He has made it public that he's formally declaring for declaring uh, anytime soon. I think on the fourteenth or thereabout. Yeah. What? Why? What's? Why? Why are you guys abandoning Abga at this point? We are not, well, uh, it's not a question of abandoning APCA. You see, some of these political parties, the people that register it have a very wrong concept of party politics. Some of them registered it as thinking that it's a limited liability company. Okay. That should be making returns to them. Mm -hmm. Not knowing that even limited liability company, if it has good ideas and products, after some time, the ownership will change. The concept will change. Practical example. Chief Aumka uh, Kahlo, Aumka Interbees of Blessed Memory, of Boston, of Abraba. Practically registered Fidelity Bank. Is he still the owner? No. It's not the owner because he's dead. But even when he was alive, the bank grew bigger 
than what he thought he was just starting. For one reason or the other, more people put interest into the whole idea. Is Fidelity Bank not still existing? Yes, yes. Now, that is where you are having problem with some of those people that claim that we own this party. You can't own a party. Party is a public. You can only be the person that just registered it. And where you registered is the party becomes strong if more members. We found in Abga some characters that are very, very not receptive to people. They are, in their little world, they are comfortable with that small return they get from aspiring candi uh, candidates during the election period. So we saw a leadership that they are not interested in taking over government, but interested in just making little, little money. And there was always this petty quarreling over little things. And we try to see what we can do to make that change so that Abga will not just be a party for making up numbers. You saw the difference in 2015. You saw the difference in 2015. Way by from zero number of this thing, we got up to 11 to or 12 and lost one later. So, Instead of the leadership of the party nationally and state, to build on that momentum that people are coming in, people are getting interest, expand the party, they want to draw us back. And when you are a progressive mind and you know you are going somewhere, instead of allowing a particular environment to keep you perpetually in the state you know that you deserve better, you move on. We don't claim to own Africa. We are not even claiming to take over Abga. But what we are saying, we saw it as a tool. Given the original idea of the founding fathers, that we can express it for the development of our people. But um, it appears the leadership, mainly I don't want to say it's an Anambra affair, but so to say, they, they appear to be comfortable with just retaining Anambra. Then uh, Abia, Imo, uh, Eboi can just be, uh, even uh, other states, uh, we have leadership that doesn't, that practically not interested in growth and expansion of people, not even taking advantage of the momentum created by 2015. So after you ask yourself, I want to grow, I have better ideas, why should I be placed in a cocoon? And you move on. And if you try, and uh, people say it's not good to use what you want to use in buying the palm kernel, to be buying a uh, sack. It's not that we don't... Uh, uh, we love the ideal of the party. But no, no, some the, people... The people are, some people are thinking that, um, uh, that um, uh, of the, their own opinion, though, that, 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 that Dr. Alex Uti should have stayed in Abga and see how to build and change Abga from within. That moving to APC seems to, 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 to have some coloration of desperation. Is there anything like that? There's nothing like desperation. You see, to change something from within, uh, there are two ways to it. Uh, I think I don't think you've encountered some people that uh, are, very, are not very, very receptive to say, this is the way we do it, this is it. I'll give you an example. When I accompanied uh, McDonald Roba to express his interest to contest for Federal House at the State Secretariat, I saw the status quo, the comments they were making. They were seeing it as an opportunity. In fact, one of them told me this is our own container time. I said, look, this is a party that lacked members, serious members, and we are bringing in people. You there are some segments you don't make. There are some demands you don't make on uh, aspirants. The leadership were as slow as that, so to say it. And we try to manage. And uh, there is a limit to which you can drag uh, uh, someone out of the mud. Okay, m moving m moving forward. Dr. Alex Oti is is formally go going to move up over to up uh, to to APC. Um, I think in the next um, few days. Uh, what should APC people be like, be expecting? that somebody like Alex is going to bring on or in to the party? Um, 
Like I said, every good house. Eh? If he sees a new member, he should be excited. Especially a quality one for that matter. So APC being a national party, a bigger party, definitely will be happy. There is no home, there is no club that is not excited on the entrance of a new member, especially a quality one for that matter. There is no gain saying that Alex has enough in terms of uh, intelligence and otherwise to contribute to any party to, or any organization he belongs to. They are expecting more from him and by the grace of God, their expectation will not be disappointed. Are you, are you going to follow um, um, Alex Oti to Abga, to, 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 from Abga to APC? Well, there is a saying in a place that said, uh, uh, maybe I will carry on because you won't die there. I didn't enter Abga because I want to be a, 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 a typical party man. We entered Abga for a particular project and that project was anchored around uh, Alex Uti. And uh, if that project moves and we feel we can express it somewhere naturally, so long as you have, so long as Alex Oti still enjoys my confidence, naturally, I'm not contesting. <laughs> okay, let, let me ask so you. So I join any party for a particular project for a particular purpose. Not joining party to be carried party card so that every weekend we'll go somewhere and share it. And no, no, I pass that level. <laughs> so any party you see me, we are there to make, we have a mission. And if there is no mission, I'll face my little business that have been keeping me on. Are we going to say the mission is that um, Dr. Alex Oti may contest for governor again in 2023? Well, he has to say it himself. But the fact that our main mission of coming into some of these public affairs is to either directly by ourselves or influence things to be done differently for the betterment of the people of Abia State. Thank you very much, sir. We, we I appreciate your this interaction with you this morning. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for coming to the studio. We appreciate. It. Thank you, viewers. I'm still my my guest uh, is still in the studio. Um, uh, Chief Inde Mwaka. We just rounded up a, a line of interview as regards um, happenings in Abia State and and um, uh, one of the sons of Abia State, Doctor Alex Oti. We want to thank you for being here with us. You are going to still um, watch this video full on our YouTube handle and on our, our Twitter and Instagram handle. Please always be with us. This is. AF Television, this is under the platform of AF News. Thank you and God bless you for, for this, for, for viewing. Thank you very much. God bless you.